Shotgun gun people. <clears throat> so this Alex Jones, I, I watched a little bit of it. So I'm going to kind of, I haven't watched a lot. I watched maybe like five or 10 minutes, but there's a couple of suggestions I got for people. If you're ever testifying on how to handle attorneys like this guy and how to handle a judge like this person, this judge doesn't like him. She's been open about it, and they are trapping him. And before this started, they said, you can't talk about this, you can't talk about that, you can't talk about that. Well, when, when, when they're told you can't talk about something, and then the attorney implies it or tries to sneak it in a little bit to get you to answer, your attorney should catch it. And his uh, Alex Jones' attorney is doing a pretty good job, but... This whole trial is a freaking scam. I mean, it's bullshit. It's free speech. Yeah, he said it. So what? So what? He said it was a hoax. You get to believe it or you don't. I never believed it was a hoax. I've had people say it all the time. I'm not going around trying to sue him. I mean, it's just bullshit that they're going after him. If we could go sue all the Black Lives Matter every time they lied on somebody, we'd, we'd be in court all the time. But no, no, we can't sue them. That would be different. We can only sue conservative people or people that believe in freedom and constitution. I don't agree with Alex on everything, but he's a freedom patriot dude. And he knows tyranny when he sees it. So here we go. Use under the Fair Use Act, blah, blah, blah. You would appear at this trial, correct? I believe so. Uh, and you could have come to this courtroom at any time since we started if you wanted to, correct? Yes. Right. In fact, you know... Totally irrelevant. Objection, Your Honor. Relevancy. Who cares if he can come in there? What he's trying to do is saying that he didn't want to come and he only came when he was testified and subpoenaed and when he had to. So big freaking deal. I know where the courthouse is because you've given press conferences right outside this courthouse. This is slanderous. He just wants to inflame the jury and you're doing this and you're... This is where people say most questions are statements in disguise. Attorneys are masters at this. He's making a statement, posing it as a question. Yesterday and the day before, correct? Yes. But this is the first time you've been in the courtroom. Yes? Yes. This is the first time. You don't get to say yes. When you, when I, if I had a smart ass attorney like that, I would say, are you asking me a question? You answer it because you asked the question and you said yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll rephrase it. I would be jacking this attorney up every chance I can because this attorney is on. Let me make sure I don't have this sped up because I. Okay, it's on my normal speed. Uh, so this attorney has really comes on him hard. And if Alex was smart or had better coaching, he would be getting under the attorney's ass and under this judge's ass. And I'll, I'll, when he does it, I'll, I'll throw in my little comments on how you mess with him. Yes, right? Um, and you understand that the families that I represent brought this case against you about four years ago. Yes. To seek justice from this jury for what you did to them, correct? Question. I don't know why you brought, why they brought this. I think it's political. See, he, attorneys want you to answer yes or no to their statement questions so you validate their statements, but they, they you can't, the phrase in a courtroom is you can't unring a bell. So when attorneys ring a bell, they just want the jury to hear. They don't really give a shit what the answer is, whatever, unless they can turn the answer into, oh, are you being, uh, uh, are you not being honest? Are you trying to avoid this question? Don't you believe? A blah, and, and they just, this attorney is really making it personal with him. Hopefully the jury is getting turned off. I'm turned off, but I think it's bullshit. You understand that's why we're here? Um, I understand they sued me, yes. Right. Uh, and Okay, so that was good. He didn't He didn't answer yes or no. He said, I understood they sued me. Good. This is an important case. You understand that? I mean, that's an opinion. Okay. It's You don't think this is an important case? See how he turned it around? He didn't get the answer he wanted, so now he wants to lock him down. Yes or no? Is this an important case? That's a yes or no, sir. Now he's going to tell him it's yes or no. It's not, I don't really think it is a case. I don't think it is a case. Okay. We're going to just, there's going to be a lot of this today. And Objection, Judge. All right, so I, let me, let, let's. So here's where the judge supports this guy's position because she hates him. Iron out the wrinkles now. 
If you can answer the question with a yes or no, Mr. Jones, answer it with a yes or no. And if you don't know the answer, you can say you don't know the answer. And of course, if there's an objection, you'll just wait for me. She can't tell you how to answer questions. So he needs to say, I can't answer this with a yes or no because it needs qualification. Or if I answer this yes, I partly agree with it, but there's parts that it would be answered no. Do you want me to explain? That's how you get around that. And then the judge will go, well, it's either yes or no, or I don't know. No, that's not only on three options, Your Honor. Are you telling me that I, that's it? I, I, I got A, B, or C? Is that the way you want me to answer? Just A, B, or C? I don't, I don't have, I don't, it doesn't matter what the question is. He can ask me a compound question with 14 answers and I got to answer yes or no. What color are your shoes, red or blue? You can only answer yes or no. I mean, come on. So he could, he could argue with her a little bit. The judge can't do too much. I mean, he would have to go pretty far before she'll hold him in contempt. As a cop, I had to be a little bit more careful because I kind of represent the DA and the prosecutor team. But he's getting a civil trial. He could give this judge a lot more shit. This is an important case, isn't it, Mr. Jones? I think this is historic. Okay. Mr. Jones, the judge just gave you an instruction. So now he went, the attorney ought to be objecting. Objecting, Your Honor. He doesn't need to repeat what you said. He asked my client a question, my client answered. He doesn't get to play these games every time he doesn't get the answer he wants. So see, the other attorney should be interjecting and pissing off the juror and making him look bad in front of the jury. He's not doing that. He does it a couple times. He did, he missed this point. Objection. To answer the question. There he goes. Here he comes in. Objection. He answered the question. Good. Objection. He turned to court. So I, I, I would, I'll. Should you do it again? Do this. So, so will you do it again? Re-advise him. So you can chastise him again. So I can ask my questions that I know he can answer yes or no. When they get into yes or no questions, what they're trying to do is lock you down. It's bait. It is the cheese in the mouse trap. And if you allow them to lock you down and answer, because part of the question is yes, and you end up answering yes, even though part of the answer is no, they're going to ding you on a part that should have been no. Or they're going to lock you down and say, have you ever done this? And when you go no, they're going to go, oh, well, what about this? And they'll get you. So the question, Mr. Jones, is, is it an important case? And the answers that you can give are yes, no, or I don't know. So see, he needs to answer her because she's talking to him and say, Your Honor, if I answer yes, part of the answer is yes, but part of it is no. And if I answer I don't know, you're going to come back and try to get me for perjury because I'm not answering a question. If you won't let me answer the question, but yes or no, then I can't answer that question because I don't think the question can be answered with one of the three options that you're mandating I answer. Are you telling me you want me to lie and just pick those three? I would turn that shit right around on that damn judge. Yes. And he just, he barreled down and just answered yes. He folded. Now, if they have anywhere on any file or any written document where he has said, this case is bullshit and it's not important, now they got him. You can understand why it would be very important to the families I represent, correct? I could understand that. Is that a yes, no, or a maybe? Or do I get to answer that I can understand? Yes. But it's also important to you, isn't it? Yes. Because you've been using this case as a marketing opportunity over the past couple of weeks, haven't you? No. Uh, Mr. Jones, you created a new website on Infowars.com called Kangaroo Court, just so your followers can watch this case, haven't you? That's not a website. What would you call a web page on Infowars.com? It's a page. Okay, page. Thank you for that correction. Good. Good. There's a web page on Infowars.com that you've titled Kangaroo Court, so that your followers can, can watch what's happening here. I think it's funny. he got a kangaroo court. He's going to show a picture of the judge with shit lasers coming out of her eyes. I think it's funny as shit. Right? Yes, that's my, my opinion. Okay. And why don't we pull up, actually, Exhibit 504. This is... You see that? Yes. Okay. Is that the uh, Kangaroo Court page that you've had up and running? Yes. Okay. I'd offer it, Your Honor. No objection. 
And you see here, it, you've been clipping testimony from that's been happening in this courtroom over the last couple of weeks, haven't you? Wow, somebody got a lot of free advertising there. I, I have not been clipping, no. You don't do that yourself. You have your employees do that. I, I'm not even directing it. Oh, okay, so you didn't know that this was happening? Jackson, argumentative. It is argumentative. That's not what he said. Now, Alex could have went... That's not what I said. You misstated what I just said. I said I was not clipping this. Uh, no, I've not been there. and I, I, I don't direct most of the headlines. They just know that this is what you want, right? Objection calls for speculation. Overruled. That's bullshit. That should not be overruled. That is an absolute speculation question. How the hell is he supposed to know what others are thinking? That is bullshit, and it does call for speculation. That fucking judge just fucking lied and overruled that. Well, she didn't lie. She just overruled it. Even though it shouldn't have been overruled, that should have been sustained. What was the question? Uh, no, I've not been there. I, I, I don't direct most of the headlines. They just know that this is what you want, right? Objection. You can't testify for what they know what I want. How do I know what's in their mind? That would never be allowed. That is absolutely speculation. The judge overrules it. That's bullshit. She's saying it's not speculation. It absolutely is. Calls for speculation. Oh. I, I'm not supposed to talk about the prior rulings. Excuse me. Oh, so this is great. And he's this is good that he's getting this out. He should get this out every chance he can. Because what happens is out of the out of the jury, when the jury's in around, the judge said, Alex, you know you can't bring this up, correct? Correct. And you know you can't bring this up. Yes. Don't bring this up, and nobody's going to ask you. So what this little weasel is doing here is he's trying to make Alex look bad, knowing that he can't bring it up and justify his answers, so he words his questions to get parts in to make Alex look bad. For Alex saying, I can't answer this because now the jury knows. Alex just rung a bell for the jury. What is it that he can't talk about? Why can't he talk about it? Why is he being told he can't talk about it? He needs to get that out every chance he gets. So how do I answer why I think something's a kangaroo court if I'm not supposed to say why I think it is? The question that I just asked you, sir, was whether you knew... That's called opening the door. Once an attorney opens the door, and I, I told where I was testifying one time, and a uh, an attorney was playing this bullshit with me about, isn't it true that you took five cops to go arrest my client just because he was at work and you wanted to embarrass him? Isn't that true? He wanted a yes or no answer, I went... Actually, I took five cops because he was a convicted felon and it was a violent felony and I thought I might need him. <gasps> Objection! Because before the court, we're told you can't bring up his criminal history. Well, guess what? He opened the door. He wanted me to answer yes or no. And I said, oh, hell no. You open that door. I answered it. And he had a shit fit. And the DA said, hey, he opened the door. The judge went, you know what? You did. If you don't want the answer, don't answer the question. Or don't ask the question. So when he opens this door... You absolutely get out what you want to get out because he asked the question. Or you do like Alex is doing. How am I supposed to answer the question when I was told I can't bring up things that would answer this question? Great move. Knew that your employees wanted to do this, whether they knew that you wanted them to do this. You knew my objection on speculation. And it's the same ruling. Do you understand that question, sir, or do you want this played back or repeated? Because I want to make sure you're answering the question that's uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure they agree with me. That's why they put that headline up. And and right above there, as you're saying, watch highlights from the Alex Jones Sandy Hook kangaroo court hearings. You're running an ad for Brain Force Plus, right? Yes. Orders a day, right? This is this is what you're you're showing your audience. The next generation of advanced neural activation and nootropics. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, and how much is that going for on InfoWarsStore.com right now with, this, with the sale? I don't know. Um, a lot of people are afraid to say, I don't know on a stand. It's a great answer because you can't get locked down, especially when attorneys like this are playing this game. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't recall. And ever since this trial started, and you've been you've been calling it a, a kangaroo court yourself, right? 
Yes. Right. And you've called this judge a tyrant, correct? Yes. <laughs> I would have looked at her and went, yeah, and I stand by it. Okay. And you actually use that word a lot with your audience. You call people tyrants, don't you? Define a lot. Do you mean more? I'm not sure of the question. When you said I use it a lot, what do you mean? Don't be afraid to ask an attorney a question to qualify something. And after a while, they'll get pissed off and say, can you just have an answer? Because he's making me look bad every time he asks me my question. Because you make him look like a fool. Only when they act like it. Okay. Uh, and one way that you've been conveying to your audience that Judge Bellis has been acting like a tyrant is by... So see, he's trying to inflame the judge and show that Alex is talking smack about the judge and the judge is sitting there like, oh, it doesn't bother me. I'm above it. It's okay. She doesn't like it. And it does affect her. And he's using this as a ploy to turn the jury. It's, I mean, this attorney, he's representing his clients well, but hopefully he's turning off the jury. Showing her with lasers coming out of her eyes, right? You know you did that? I didn't direct that first time I saw it was in court. Oh, so you've been watching this? Yeah, I've been watching. Okay. You, you could have just watched from the state. Objection, argumentative. Total argumentative. You could have just watched. Is that a question? When you told me I could have watched, is that a question? Because I thought you were asking me questions. Oh, Your Honor, can you tell the the, the, the the witness just to answer my questions? I'll be happy to answer his question. We ask a question. He's just making a statement right now. But you've been brought Okay. You, you could have just watched from the state. Objection, argumentative. Sustained. But you've been broadcasting your show during this trial, haven't you? I have changed some of my show. When 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 you when an attorney changes topics like that and you catch him and a judge sustains an objection, you've got him on the run, he's shaken. His job is to move on as quick as he can. You want to pause and say, uh, I'm sorry, the judge sustained the objection and I forgot the question. What is the question? Make him restate it. Play his freaking game. Slow him down. Get him off his roll. Let's pull up 477. Is this full? This, this, this attorney right. thinks he's really full. Cool. Like freaking Perry Mason. 477. 477, Your Honor. This is the tyrant you've been telling your audience about, right? <laughs> I'm barred from saying why I said it. So. Perfect answer. Perfect answer. I'm barred from saying why I said it. Now, barred may be confusing to the jury. I would have said uh, the judge ordered me not to discuss why I said it before the jury came in. Oh, that would freaking sting. The juror and the dirty would be pissed. I'm sorry. I, the judge ordered me not to talk about this before the jury came in. And now you're asking me the question. Do you want me to answer it now, judge? Because you told me earlier I couldn't answer it. Oh, my God. They would get so freaking pissed. You have to learn how to play stupid and make them look like freaking idiots. So I didn't ask you why. Oh, this is the tyrant you've been telling your audience about, right? I, I believe the. I believe. Sir, so, Mr. Jones. Yes. Look at me. Yes. yes. No, or I don't know. I don't know. The answer is you don't know about that. I didn't make no, that. No. This. See how he puts the hand out and he's kind of like talking down to him, like you don't get it. I need to understand. See how he slows him down. You need to do that to him. This is the tyrant pictured here that you've been telling your audience about, right? I thought you were asking me again about the about the image or about me believing this is tyrannical. What's, mm -hmm. Can we restate the question, please? Sure. Good. See, that's that's a good point. He he he's making his point. He's making him restate it. Don't be afraid to do that. A lot of times I'll restate it wrong anyway, or they'll change it. I'll see, I'll restate it for the third time for you. I'll restate it for the third time. Your Honor, what, objection. Why is he arguing with a client? Why can't he just restate it instead of saying and making a statement to inflame the juror and to try and argue with my client? Objections, new comments, move to strike. This is... Oh, I don't know what he said. Move to strike. What did he say? I'll, say, I'll restate it for the third time for you. Objections, new... Oh, good. He did get the objection. You go, boy. See, me and his attorney's online here. Comments, move to strike. This is... And we have one... Notice how he's, like, ignoring him and going on. He's not supposed to do that. 
that attorney say, Your Honor, I have an objection stated. Can you please tell the other attorney to stop talking? I'd have called his ass out. This picture right here. Did she rule on the objection? If she didn't rule, she has to rule. That attorney can re-object. So, Your Honor, I need a ruling on my objection. That's Judge Bellis, correct? Yes. Lasers coming out of her eyes, correct? Yes. That's who you Okay, notice these rapid fire questions. Never, never get tricked into that. This is a ploy. That's her, right? Lasers coming out of her eyes. She's wearing a robe, right? She's doing this. You really hate her and want her dead, right? And you might accidentally answer that shit. Don't get caught up into these rapid fire questions and answer shit been referring to as a tyrant to your audience, correct? Yes. Okay, and you refer to tyrants um, to your audience a lot, right? Defined a lot. What do you mean a lot? Some. Right. Okay, so he, he didn't make him define it, but he said some. Some attorneys will come back and go, oh, <coughs> so you don't do it a lot. You just do it some. What's your definition of some? And he would have turned that around on Alex. Right. Tyrants are people who are um, going to oppress others and strip them of their freedoms, correct? That's a common definition. Right. And so he's kind of disrespecting him a little bit by not looking at him, which I like. Fuck him. You've not just called Judge Bellos a tyrant, but you said that this whole thing, what's happening here, is part of a plot, isn't it? Action motion in limine? No. Oh. So Alex is going to answer it even after you heard his attorney talk. Don't do that on a stand. Once you're on a stand, anytime your attorney says anything, that's a clue. Shut the hell up. He's working an angle. His attorney said, objection, motion in limine. Motion in limine is, a, I just call it like a, a motion in limit, limiting. But I think it's limiting. I can't remember the correct spelling. But it basically restricts what you can say. So because his, his attorney objected to that, he's saying, you already instructed us not to go there because my client can't answer. And now this attorney is asking him questions about your prior ruling. And they want to ignore this. And Alex starts talking instead of shutting up. Bad move on his part. What's happening here is part of a plot, isn't it? Action motion in limine? No, not. So I'm thinking in the motion, they said you can't talk about plots or conspiracies. And since he says, he just asked a question about a plot, you've already told my client he can't talk about it. Now, what Alex could have done is answered it because he talked about it, even though the judge said you can't talk about it. He should have just went into, yeah, I think it is a plot, blah, blah. And then he would have checked, Your Honor, uh, he said not to talk about this. And the other guy would have went, oh, well, he opened the door, Your Honor. The whole thing. I think the jury's real. Can I have that question again? Yeah, I think what I asked you. I understand. I understand. Thank you. What you've been telling the audience is that this whole thing is part of a plot. I believe is what I asked. Objection. Motion in limine. Politics. That's a yes or no. It's a yes, no, or I don't know, sir. I so. thought there, there. I thought there was. Well, John, may we approach briefly? Yes, sir. You tell the guy he can't talk about plots or conspiracies, then you ask him yes or no. You think this is a plot? How is that not violating the order? <clears throat> He's going to talk about it. I don't know if I would ever have an attorney with a ponytail. I know some, I'm going to get some hair people here hating on me because I'm cracking on a dude's long hair, but I just, I just never, whatever. If this goes on, he'll read this, that, and everything else, and I thought that I thought that politics, you know, was out of it. He thinks this is a plot orchestrated by, excuse me, I don't mean that. He thinks this trial reflects the effort of tearing it down. Does this attorney play for a band on a weekend and shit? Let's his hair down? Tyrants to silence him, including George Soros, Hillary Clinton, Why and others. And by asking this question, the door is being Whatever. Bring fry, baby. I said, it's part of the plot. Yeah, that's that opens the door. So I think the judge told him, yeah, you did open the door. You can't go there. So they won. Or the attorney got him to stop the question. Oh, the judge got scared. Look, her books fell down and she got scared. Watch this. 
Oh, the little tyrant. The little tyrant with lasers that hates freedom is scared of a book falling. It could have been a gun and it scared me because I'm a pink panty little crybaby. Freaking left wing piece of crap. And it hasn't just been, can we pull that back up? I didn't hear the question. I haven't asked one yet. It hasn't just been this way that you've been depicting the tyrant. Let me show you exhibit 477. Was that a question? Because see, he just made another statement and he got to talk and there's no question on the table. So... If he, if he would ask me that, do that shit like that about, is, is that a question? Is, is this a yes, no question or no? And he would say, well, I haven't asked the question yet. I said, oh, I heard you talking. I thought you were asking a question. I just didn't hear the question. And then the judge would say, uh, Detective Gore, uh, let, let the attorney ask the question. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> and then I'd be eyeballing the attorney. Just, is this 477? You also have displayed Judge Bellis engulfed in flames, haven't you, to your audience? No. One of my crew made that. They make thousands of images. Thousands of images. Just sir. one second. Is this what the looks like? No, it's not. You're pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. I'd offer it. He no just, objection, Judge. I forgot the number. Four. So they had to take it down because there was an argument on whether the number was right or whether it was admitted in evidence already, I, I think. I'm not sure. 61. 469. 1. Thank you. Do we have a bench copy? <laughs> I freaking love it. <laughs> Man, I would love for them to put pictures that I made up of people and judges and plays and shit. I'd be like, uh, actually, I think that's a good likeness on that picture. I didn't do it. But the artist that did it, I thought, did a nice job. <laughs> uh, and that's Judge Bellis on the right there, isn't it? Yes. Engulfed in flames. Mm -hmm. And actually, she's not engulfed in flames. It looks like it's an overlay of some flames over her picture to, I think, to promote the image that she should probably burn in hell because she's being a tyrant. I think that's what that depicts, but I don't think she's engulfed in flame. And that's it. I didn't ask you the other person. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. That's another judge, right? Objection, motion, in limine. That's not what I was going to say. Objection, motion, That's in That's another oh, producer's no report. Shut up when your attorney's talking, Alex. That's... So, Mr. Cummings, because your attorney stood up and objected, so remember when there's an... I'll draw it. I'll draw it. Okay. So he wants to withdraw because he doesn't want to rule against him because he knows he's freaking wrong. So see, jurors don't always know when when a when an attorney says I'll withdraw, they're admitting defeat. They admitting they screwed up. They know they're going to lose, so they withdraw so the judge doesn't have to say sustained, and then they think they're cool. So, but a lot of jurors don't know that. Hell, I'm at thirty minutes. I better make a part two. Hang on.